So in today's video, we're going to look at the Taxim, aka the Inward Maya, because you also have Outward Mayas, right? Or some people just call it the Maya. And then you have the Inward Maya, which some people just call the Taxim. So let's talk about those. Uh, please warm up first as usual before you come and do this, and then guys come back and see me, and let's begin. So we're going to soften the knees, pull the tummy in slightly, so I call this like a halfway tummy pop. So your tummy is slightly engaged. Heavy hips, chest lifted, shoulders back and down, long neck, and head is floating to the sky. Alright, we'll get our arms out of the way. I wouldn't worry about those too much, our focus is the hips. So classical position, we're going to take one foot slightly front of the other for the moment and I just want you to go lift and drop, lift and drop, lift and when you're lifting we're really focusing on engaging all of our muscles as much as possible and we're breathing and we're smiling and we're lifting and we're dropping, lift, drop, lift, Try to keep your chest still as you lift. Lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop. Let's change sides. Lift, drop. Both my knees are bent, by the way. Okay, so I'm not, I'm, you never want locked legs or locked knees when you're dancing or in life, really, in general. But still, okay, so we're lifting and we're trying to really engage our muscles. Halfway tummy pop is engaged. Chest is lifted, shoulders are down, neck is long, and you are breathing. And lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift, drop. Four, three, two, legs together. Now, as part of the figure of eight series, we did isolated figure of eights, um, really recruiting our hip slides of bending our hip slides. So we're going to do the same thing as part of the warm up. So we're going to cough, uh, bend the knees, keep the weight in the middle of the heels, and we're just going to slide the hips from one side to the other. Okay, what I don't want you to do is bend and straighten in the legs, because that's not really isolating. So keep the knees bent, keep them there, and it's like someone's pulling a rope attached to your hip from one side to the other. And we're keeping everything else still, but relaxed. And smile. So it's over. One, two, three, four. Pull the tummy in. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. First of all, we'll do one side, which will be like a circular on one side, and then the other, and then we'll put them together. Okay, so we bend the knees, and we're going to slide the hip to the side. Both my heels are on the floor. Then I'm only going to raise this heel and lift my hip. Then I'm going to contract and shift across as far as I can. Okay, so all the weight is now on this leg. Bring the heel down, we're going to go again. Slide, lift, slide, drop. When I say drop, I mean we'll drop the heel. Okay, so I'm going to back as well. And slide, lift the heel, and hit slide, heel down. Slide, Lift the heel of the hip, slide, heel down. Okay, a bit quicker. We're going to connect those dots, okay? So you're going over and over, and a little bit closer. So you're going through, through, really taking the hip over to the side. Pull the tummy in, but a bit because you can breathe. Okay, so my tummy muscles are engaged. My arms are soft. If I had a pen on this, if I were in a circle um, on the mirror or on your screen <laughs> with my hip. Okay, let's try and change sides. So same principle. You're going to slide, keep this heel on the floor, lift this heel and this hip, contract, slide across, bring the heel down. Slide, lift. If you're available and you're around, come to my classes in person. It's better I can meet you. <laughs> I'm in London, in Warren Street. Slide over, down, make a circle. Okay. So, you can't come to my classes in person and train with me. I've got loads of different classes to choose from. You can also take them online with me instead, from anywhere in the world. Anyway, like, 
and all parts of the film. So you can take the course as if you're taking the course in person. So you'll learn with us each week, progress with us each week, progress through the levels. I love it, see my legs. They go up, snake it through. Up, snake it through. Up. You check out my other video as well um, on quick tips. I've got the this move, which I talk about, which stems from the tag scene or the Inwood Meyer, of course. That's not what this video is about. This is that's a stylized move. And a very stylized move that we use a lot in travel from the actually, which is my style travel fusion. But in the meantime, we're just gonna do the, the no frills Meyer, just a basic Meyer, which is not basic at all, right? So, from the knees, we're gonna cut the dots now. So now it's a figure of eight, like this, okay? We're going up, through, up, through, up, through, and up and through. Okay, posture, breathe. So I go down, up, and as I come through, so I'm going to raise this heel, come through, sit, and I'm going to swap the heels. This one's going to come up, and then you're going to come through. I'm going to swap the heels, and this one's going to come through. I place the back, this is what I was talking about with my feet, pay attention to my feet. Uh, yeah. So I'm going out, raise the heel, come through, raise the heel. You can do this move on flat feet as well, as in feet flat on the floor. You don't have to raise the heels. It's harder, it's more muscular, but you can choose, right? So we'll try actually. Let's do four more of these. Four, three, two, try to keep your chest nice and still, make sure you're breathing one. All right, now try with the heels on the floor and try not to lift them. Significantly harder. <laughs> Let's try it. So you're going to shift the weight. Then you have to use your muscles way more in this version for anything to happen. Very grounded, very heavy, very grounded movement. Four, three, two. Okay. So let's walk with it. When you're walking, we want to stay nice and low, okay? So, because we need our knees to be bent. So for today, let's not worry about any stylization of the hands or anything like that. And let's just keep it very basic, keep our hands on our hips. So if I step forward on this leg, this is the hip that's gonna lead. Okay, should we try it? Five, six, seven, so this hip, this leg. This hip, this leg. One, two, three. your hips. Thank you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.